the benefits of working at a farm and having friends who are awesome market gardeners. All right, today I'm off the homestead today and I'm working at uh, Honey Tree Farms. KC, what's the plan for today? We are building end walls, something that I've kind of been putting this off for months. So the end walls are for all these high tunnels? Yep. How many? Uh, we gotta do 18. Well, we, we, did, we did six over the weekend, so. Mm -hmm. um, 18 end walls? Total, yeah. Okay. So how many greenhouses do you have here all together? 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then therefore, the purpose of the end walls is for what? For Winter? Ease of access, yeah, so, and it's stable. It makes it more stable because we can catch some serious wind here with some storms, okay. you know, from being in the mountains. Yeah. Um, though they become more stable, they're pretty easy to build. Um, we grow all year, so keeping the rain off the plants if there's a bad storm, um, keeping the heat in, yeah. and these aren't like fancy tunnels, like you can't vent them from the roof or anything, so leaving the doors open allows the air to pass through. And uh, the other, the only other thing that we did before was just put the plastic over it and then put sandbags on it, and it blows in the wind, and then eventually it'll work itself loose, and the plastic flies around. Nice. And I've had stuff flying in the power lines, so I'm trying, you know, right. not to have that happen again. Okay. We're building these end walls here. Nothing fancy. Out of two by fours. We're using strapping, and then angle brackets as well to strap down the two by fours. Usually projects like this, it takes a little time to get in the groove, you know? You gotta get in the groove to, to get going, you know? Casey and Tori are full-time market gardeners. Pretty awesome. And we're also using these angle brackets to mount the top here to the poles, some self-tapping screws. These are all gonna be cut to fit, custom, because the ground is on all of these are not even you know they're high tunnels they're not an actual building structure you're almost like you're eyeballing it to what you think looks good or straight you know it doesn't have to be super perfect or exact All right, the first two by fours up of the day. Sometimes it's kind of nice to be off the homestead doing stuff. It's kind of relaxing, actually. All right, that's two walls down. Let's go to the next one. That's how we're doing, pretty much the same thing. Pretty much the same thing.
we're, get, we're getting close. Are we getting close, Casey? We are, but uh, we're running out of warmth. Yes. So <laughs> we're running out of daylight, actually. Okay. But this is how they're gonna button it up here. Just put in a piece of plastic, and then you're just gonna roll this up. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna put those furrow strips or whatever on the edge. Yeah. And then we need to work in here or whatever. Roll this up. And then uh, we'll take some little pieces of rope. And yeah, simple. But most of the year, like all summer, they're open. So it's really just the winter where you have to right. do that. And then we're going to put some furring strips on this so it'll be more durable. Right? Yeah, handle the wind. Yeah. Um, you know how windy it can get. Yeah. We're not really in the mountains, but close right. enough to feel the effects a lot of times. So the strip will come over here and then up there and down this side on the back side. This is going to overlap. Then we'll put a sandbag here. <clears throat> and that'll keep it shut at night. We did do zippers last year, but they just got too beat up. And then once the sun hits it, it's not built to be in the sun, so that's it. They wore out, they broke. Cool. Usually with these furring strips, you gotta pre-drill the hole because these are very likely to crack. It might happen, it might not. You know, and I know it's just another step. You don't want to do another step. But you also don't want it to crack. I've been debating of building a greenhouse, a new one than the one we have. Our, mine is just super DIY uh, five years ago and it's starting to break down. So I was thinking one of these setups, it's like a, more like a caterpillar tunnel. I mean, the one I built is basically this, but set just using PVC pipe and using what I have. But this one's actually made out of metal poles uh, and then you could, I can always bend them. All right, guys, we're done. We are, That's yeah. it, that's yeah. it. Tor Tori was a big help too. I know that she probably wasn't in the camera, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was off doing my own thing, putting all the plastic up. <laughs> yeah, that's That's great. a real tedious job. Oh yeah, yeah, that was oh, just yeah, a super tedious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, not hard, but it was just really tedious. So yeah, guys, that, that was fun. Uh, you guys, okay, these two are farming full time, mm -hmm. right? You guys, you guys have been doing it for how long? It started or, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, here. So we farmed for a year before that and then kind of like homestead stuff right before, before that, that. So yeah it's yeah it's kind of been i'll put a link to a when i first i think when you guys first started here i came out and did the video oh, yeah. oh that's uh, why you helped me build you, the cooler you might yeah the cooler and you might have had like one or two tunnels here <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah. yeah so it has changed and then you're full time too yeah. that's awesome so yeah guys i'll put a link to their channel and, and their website show people where, where yeah. You guys have all yeah. Stuff on there. Check the website out. Yeah. Um, if anyone's around here, we're open on Fridays. You can come out here. Okay. Yep. Cool. It's always cool hanging out with Honey Tree Farm, Casey and Tori, man. Um, I think we've probably known them for probably for about five years now. He's uh, early on, before YouTube. He contacted me and found us through Instagram and asked if we he could come out or they could come out and uh, kind of see what we're doing at our place and I, I told him yeah and so ever since then of uh, them coming out to our place uh, we've kind of just became friends just kind of kept in contact and um, so yeah it's kind of cool just to see their growth and you know at that time they weren't doing market gardening they were just homesteading and i remember him telling me that that his goal is to be a market gardener and now they are 
Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie, how's it going? How was your day, Charlie? All right, just made it home. The benefits of working at a farm and having friends who are awesome market gardeners is all of this homegrown food. Look at all this. Carrots. I mean, to be honest, guys, we didn't even plant a garden, a winter, fall, fall winter garden with all of we had going on with our two pigs and butchering our pigs. So this, I'm super thankful for this. Look at this, turmeric. 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 Turmeric? No, it's turmeric. 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 No, it's turmeric. <laughs> I love it. I'm so yes. excited. Man. That's awesome. All these. All these. Oh my goodness. So much. Wow. Look at this is so cool. This is like, this is just winter. This is some of their winter crops that they grow. Wow. Mom, look at all these. Look at these. Yeah, that's cool. Lorraine's been busy all day. Slicing bacon. Yeah, we did. We cut up some um, pork belly, hand sliced, because we don't have a slicer, so I had to like figure out how to slice it really thin. So we did some pork belly. I did some cubed up pork, some uh, pork fajita strips. Uh, more pork belly, so yeah, we did. We did a lot today. We officially put all the one and a half pigs in our freezer, right? Right. Except for the prosciutto, the prosciutto, which is still curing. Yeah, and we're still curing yeah. that and salting it. We salted it and curing it, and there, it's still in our portable cool room. But other than that, the pig is finally in the freezer. Pi the pig, the pigs, <laughs> pigs. They're resting in the freezer. That's it. We even have some of the leftover um, smoked pork that we had for Thanksgiving. Just a couple, I put them in one pound bags and then vacuum sealed them. And this is gonna make for easy fast food.